Hi guys, it's Colin. I'm here at Kula Yoga in Hawthorne. Um, today we're going to be talking about a few more basics. We're going to talk about uh, baby cobra, cobra, and up dog. Now, they're quite different, um, and it is one of the biggest mistakes we tend to make in, in our first few classes of yoga, is trying to delineate what a real up dog is, what a cobra is, what a baby cobra is. So we're just going to talk about um, first where the strength is in the postures. We want to make sure that we are engaging in the low back and we actually are drawing the shoulder blades back and down. You don't want to crunch the spine, but you want to make sure you're using the muscle, not just kind of collapsing into the joint. You also want to make sure that even though you are in a back bend, your belly is still firm. So we don't just flare open and just let everything sort of go. You want to make sure that your belly is still lifting up and in. So we're still engaging Mula Bandha, pelvic floor, Uddiyana Bandha, uh, belly lock. So making sure that those are all still happening. So let's go ahead and come onto our belly. <clears throat> and to come down to the floor, take the hands by the chest, press the tops of the feet down into the earth. Draw the shoulder blades back and down, pressing into the floor, pull up in your belly. Now from here, you, this is your baby cobra. You want to really make sure those shoulders are drawing back and down. Really make sure that you're engaging through the legs. Now, if you're in real baby cobra, you should be able to pick up your hands and nothing should change. Nothing should change. So your cobra, you can put a little bit more pressure into the hands, but you're still drawing mostly down through the back. So even if you pick up your hands, not much should change. You're still trying to find that sensation of drawing shoulders back, pulling up in the belly, pressing the feet down. Awesome, just release down. And just rest. Awesome. So the next thing we're going to talk about is our up dog. So up dog is a little bit different. We are on the tops of the feet, thighs are lifted, shoulders are back and down. Again, you don't want to crunch the low spine, you want to make sure you're lifting up in your core. So up dog. We draw the shoulders back, we press into the hands, thighs are lifted, shoulders back and down. Draw the heart upwards. Awesome. Go ahead and release down. Just come into seated for a moment. Now oftentimes with baby cobra, we will come into it from a little bit of a lower stance. So we will come into it from knees, chest, chin, slide through, draw the shoulders back, baby cobra, right? But if you are coming into it from your plank, you want to make sure you just keep those elbows tight as you lower, and then release the toes and draw the shoulder blades back and down. Conversely, if you're coming into your up dog from here, as you lower down, we roll through to the tops of the feet and draw those shoulders back and down, thighs lifted, and then lift back, down dog. Awesome. Wiggle it out. Awesome. So I hope that helps sort of delineate your up dog, your cobra, and your baby cobra. Thanks. Namaste.